Yo there guys, what is up? Loot Games and today we are playing Terraria Xbox One Edition. Now, this is the last day of Halloween. When this is posted, it might have already been over Halloween because I've been a bit busy lately trying to do other things. I've just not long got my Steam controller as well, which had come. And yeah, so it's the last day of Halloween. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to build an area where hopefully... We can get some pumpkins. Now, I've chosen the disc walls just because I've got a ton of them. <laughs> I will come back and redecorate this whole place. Um, it might not look the best. I've had a few people say it don't look great. Um, it lo looks okay, but nothing special. But, yeah, it's just... It's getting there. I mean, I I'm hoping to add so much more things. i still got that cactus castle from, like, episode 5, which I said I was going to build one day. Well, I have been collecting cactus and stuff. And I have actually got a blood butcher. I don't know um, if that's what it's called, actually. But anyway, it's like a machete thing. And it's what you get um, from mobs on Halloween. So I've got some grass seeds. Now, I was doing this just before the recording. But I thought, you know, I'm going to record it. Because I was just going to try and get it off camera. And I was going to try my best. But, you know, why not make it into an episode? Right, so we're going to need some more grass seed, which could buy off the dryer. Then I think I actually already planted all my pumpkins at the top. So I'm actually going to have to buy some of those as well. Now, I would love the discount card. I don't know if I've got it, um, even if it's in the game. I believe it is in the game. I got it on the Xbox 360, and I did get it as a drop on the Xbox 360. So I'm assuming you can get it on Xbox One, unless for some bizarre reason they never added it. I don't know. But let's just buy a bunch of grass seeds. They're only 20 copper each. They're not going to break the bank. And then we need a bunch of pumpkin seeds as well. These are two silver and 50 copper. Which, again, don't break the bank. I can just sell a few uh, birds and, and bunnies. Which get me a ton of gold really fast. Like, seriously, it's, it's super fast. I, I can't actually believe how fast it is. Now, I do believe these will grow because they don't need sunlight. They can grow anywhere, and I've not really built anything fancy. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not in it just to build a fancy house, uh, fancy building or anything. Just something that'll work, something that'll get me the pumpkin before the end of Halloween. Because it's something like a 1 in 200 chance of getting it while it's Halloween. I don't think you can get it any other time. Somebody said you could on my comment section, but I don't think you can. I don't believe you can. Now, I do have some shout-outs to give. Um, not today though, because I've not actually had a chance to write them down. But there's a couple. There's actually someone called Luke Games, which <laughs> really surprising because that's my name as well. But yeah, someone's called Luke Games, and he's gonna get a shout. There's there's a couple of other people that I've got in mind, and they're all gonna get shoutouts. Now we do need a door to make. Oh, okay then. <laughs> we do need a door. I've got one. I remember I was gonna put this one here. So they're, they're growing, and hopefully by the end of this episode, it's gonna grow. One thing that I do want to go and do, though, is get my piranha gun. It should be in my weapons. Well, it's not in my weapons. But yeah, there's the uh, blood butcher. Is that what it's called? Oh, bloody machete. Sorry, not blood butcher. I'm, I'm mistaken there. Sorry for that mistake, but yeah, the bloody machete. And I believe it's in one of these chests. Yeah, there it is. Right, so we've got an unpleasant piranha gun. And I do want to reforge this. So hopefully I can reforge it. I'm going to go put the disc walls back in my material so so slot. Not sock. I almost said sock. I ain't going to material sock. Right, put the dirt with the dirt. Disc walls there. We don't need the grass seeds for now. And we have pl planted a bunch of pumpkin seeds. So we should be okay. And I'm really hoping to get it. Because I'm literally mine about five, six hundred. It's not even a joke. Five, six hundred. It's just insane. I think that's just a ridiculous amount. And uh, you, you don't need to normally do that many. So what we're going to do today is... I haven't really explained it, but... We're going to go find some paladins. Hopefully get a few spawn. I want to try and get a couple to spawn anyway. Uh, we need to try to reforge this so, so we can get a better one so it's stronger. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand behind something. Or move away. Fire the piranha gun. And hopefully the piranha gun will actually keep attacking it so what we got 13 gold go on then murderous go on then ruthless come on hit me with a legendary oh. hit me with a legendary oh. awkward superior do i stay superior or do i go one more one more strong another one oh. demonic 
Another one, another one, another one, another one. Intimidating. Looks like we're stuck with intimidating. It's not bad. It's not bad. None of the reforges are really that bad. I mean, they, they don't do that much. It's like, it's not really a noticeable difference that you'll see, to be honest. So, it's not all that bad. And uh, some of these pumpkins are, I believe that is fully grown. So, let's try that one. Nope. That one's definitely, look how big that is. Ah, oh, that was huge. But I didn't get a pumpkin off it. Or the uh, sapling, sorry. Sap I always call it pumplings for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because of the pumpkin or something. Maybe that one? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Um, mind blown. So that whole pumpkin farm is pointless now. Well, um... That's been that. No, I'm joking. We, we're still gonna. <laughs> we're still gonna go to the dungeon. That's just insane. There I was saying that I never got it, saying that I weren't gonna get it, and there it is. Look how cool it is. That's just so cool. I don't know whether to replace that with the bone key. Comment below if you think I should replace it with the bone key, because the bone key is getting a bit boring now. I need something new to follow me around. Bone key, squashling pet. Hmm. Well, I'd, I'd like to see your comments below. I'm going to keep the Squashling pet for this episode. And I'm going to put both pet spawners in here. Because once you've spawned it, unless you die, you don't need to respawn it. So, oh, we've already got a bone key in there. I'll tell you what, I'll put it in the bottom right. So, we are actually building a mass amount of pets here. Obviously, we still need the cabbage. We still need a lot of pets. Uh, tons. The baby Grinch is one, which you do get. From the frost invasion, or the frost moon, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I've not, not, not really had a good chance to get very far on that. Because I believe, now don't quote me on this, but I think it's dropped by the Ice Queen. Or if it's not, then it's dropped by one of the other things. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get any of the Squashling. I mean, <laughs> just look how many I planted to try and get it. Like, I planted so many before this episode. I was there for ages. I mean, ages trying to get this. I mean, I guess the pumpkin farm is something that can come in handy in the future. So, it's not all wasted. And it'll come out. Oh, wow. Look at the effect. It just twizzles around. Just look how cool it is. Yeah, it's really cool. And, uh, yeah, comment below, guys. What else you want to see? Because if you've made it this far in the video, I've obviously not done much, but... I'd really like to hear some of your opinions. I do want to do some building episodes where um, it's literally just building, which they won't be, it won't be part of the Let's Play. Oh, here I'd mind out on my meter, right? There's a massive two bits. But yeah, it won't be part of my Let's Play, but it'll be more like a Let's Build series, I suppose. And that's where I really wanted to start my Cactus Castle. And I want to build some castles. I want to build some big buildings, maybe some pixel arts. And it's going to be called the Let's Build series. And I did want to involve some people in that. But then, I really got to be really careful about my world. And also on Exos 1, at the minute, I can't invite anyone. I don't know where to show you at the end of the video. Because it literally lags me out. I and mean, all my voice goes weird. And you don't hear me. And <laughs> it goes all crazy. So, I don't know. But it's definitely something that I do want to do. But I might do it on a different world if I can get my online working. Because at the minute, any time I load up Terraria online... It just doesn't load. It crashes. It loads. Alright. Lo loads fine. Get to the main menu screen. We go to load a world. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it crashes there. Now the times where it does go fine. I get into the world part. It either crashes there. Or I go into my character. And it crashes halfway through loading the world. Which I've got an issue with that. Because halfway through loading a world. It might corrupt my world. Which I don't want. And another point with that. Is just, I don't know, it's just too risky and it's just not letting me get online. I do want to fix it, maybe just wait for the update. Oh, Paladin, we got our first Paladin already, wow. We're not using the uh, tactic what I said I was going to do, but, you know, whatever. If this works, this works. You know how it is, you know me, I don't complain. Working tactic, come on, drop the pa If if it drops a... Oh, I didn't drop anything. It could have dropped as a paladin's hammer or seven or something like that. <laughs> I mean, come on. It must be crazy not to drop a paladin's hammer. Now, a paladin's hammer is one of those weapons that is so good. It gets fast. It's a melee weapon. You can't go wrong with it. 
it fires reasonably far. Like I say, it's fast, does a lot of damage, especially in PvPs. You can two hit someone with the right, right equipables. So that's really good. Come on, let's attack them. Yeah, guys, um, I'm really happy that you are enjoying these series because I love playing Terraria. I love playing Terraria legit because originally I actually played fully legit. Nothing was hacked. Yes, in my earlier episodes, I did use Red's Wings on the Xbox 360, but that was only when I started a series with people. I wasn't using Red's Wings before that. I mainly, because it was like the old, old update, I mainly used my, I think it was Angel Wings. Because they was like one of the best wings back then. Obviously Demon Wings as well. And there wasn't a very big selection of wings. There wasn't a hoverboard back then. I believe I, I believe it was, anyway. I don't even know if there was wings. Yeah, I, th I think there was, but there was, like, the really basic ones. Obviously from, like, 1.1 or whatever. But, yeah, there was really basic ones. Yeah, they don't look like we're doing much, to be fair. I, I do need to find some more paladins, though. They, they normally spawn in a massive widespread area. So they could spawn anywhere around here. And as you saw, they spawn up there. I don't know... 100% the rate of them spawning. So, I know it's pretty low. So, I'm not expecting to get hundreds of them. But, if I can just get a few of them, it'd be really cool. Because, that Paladin's Hammer is something that I want to do a test with. I do have some more series coming up as well for the Mythbusters. One of which is a suggestion that Alexis Nature said. If that's how you say your name, sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Because I'm not very good at pronouncing names. <laughs> but, yeah. Basically... The myth is that the, I think it's the crimson biome, the dungeon appears on the left. The corruption biome, the dungeon appears on the right. And it was a myth buster. And I'm hoping to bust that soon, so stay tuned for that. Remember, I've got over 400 videos now on YouTube. That being 44 episodes now of the Xbox One series. There's various farming series that I've done. Bits and pieces here and now for giveaways. I mean, they're not too exciting to watch. But I do have conversations in them. And it's cool to interact with you guys through those. Because obviously they're live streamed. But after, it's not live. So the interaction is in the comment section. So yeah, that's awesome. And also guys, if you are subscribing to me and you are new... Remember to also subscribe to my Google Plus page. The reason I say this is because I'm trying to get a thousand following on Google Plus. Not a lot of people use Google Plus. It's not a thing that people really use, to be honest. It's a thing that you might use for Google Hangouts, for example, but that's about it. Now, I really want to get people on Google Plus because when you get a thousand followers, Basically, it has a chance of going through the verification system, and this allows you to get the verification tick. The verification tick obviously makes your channel more official, and the more official my channel is, the better it is to know if it's me or not, because there is some impersonators out there, people who say it's me. I've actually had some people recently, this is why I bring the issue up, I've had some people recently on Xbox uh, saying really, really bad things, um, to me, saying that I have a different gamer tag, and I have three gamer tags, but two of them I use for fan accounts, and one of them is my main account. The only gamer tags I have is Luke Games YT, Leaving Fanboy Space XX, and Luke and uh, A1 Frostbite 0001. They're the only three accounts I have, and there were some people just saying I was talking to them off a different account and I added them and played with them and stuff. Like on the PlayStation. Apparently there's someone called Luke Games there and they're playing with people and saying it's me. Someone actually said, oh, thanks for playing for with me last night. That was awesome. But did you have to destroy my house? I was like, that wasn't me, dude. I don't play the PlayStation. Like I've got PS Vita and don't get me wrong. I love PlayStation. I'm getting a PlayStation 4 sometime next year. Uh, when they go down in price, because I don't want to be paying loads, and I haven't even got that much room for it at the minute. So I'm trying to make room for it, but 
It'd be awesome to play with some of you guys then. And uh, I don't know whether to get a uh, 3DS or a Wii U yet because both of them are great. I'd prefer the portable one, but then again, I do have PS Vita, so... You see, that's that's the problem. I don't want too many consoles because what's the point of having a ton of consoles? Now, you, you got to be really careful when you're spending loads of money on these things and... Sometimes you're just not going to use them and end up just selling them for a really cheaper price. Like a lot of these games that I've got in my room. I've got a ton of games. I've hardly ever played them. And now I'm selling some of them. And I'm only going to get like two, three pounds for each game, which isn't a lot. Well, it does translate into a lot if you've got the amount of games I've got. Because I've got like 700 Xbox 360 games. And if each of those sold for two pounds each, obviously that's 1,400 pounds, which is a lot of money. But... If you think of how much I spent on them. Now, I'm a really, real cheapskate on games. I only buy games that are cheap. So, yeah. <laughs> I still remember buying, I think it was the Tomb Raider. Yeah. I bought it for like £5 when it was pretty much brand new. Seriously, I get a wisp in a bottle. The amount of time I spent looking for one of these. And I just get one as if it's nothing. Wow. Well, anyway... Like I was saying, uh, yeah, I, I bought the Tomb Raider when it was out. Then it came out free for Xbox, didn't it? So I could sell that. Uh, I've, I've literally bought it, and maybe I can sell it for a five or get some off somebody. Maybe. But a lot of people know about a shop called CEX. It is a website and a store where they basically sell anything to do with gaming, DVDs. Movies, which are DVDs, pretty much. And they sell any, literally anything to do like that. And sell headphones, memory sticks, hi-fi things as well. And uh, th this is a really cheap shop. And this is what is causing the price of games to go down. Uh, obviously, game don't offer you a lot anyway. But if you compare the price of what they actually pay you and what they sell it for, it's just ridiculous. I'm actually killing myself here. I should uh, heal up. Don't know why I've uh, got rid of my healing potions. Put bones there. That was weird. Normally I have my healing potions at the end. And that's like always. I never change that. So it isn't like any more paladins want to spawn. I mean, it'd be awesome if one did spawn. I don't know. The, the Xbox spawn rate of paladins just seems so low. Like really low. I don't know if you agree with me there. Or if it's just generally really low rate of spawning. Because I've got a wide area where paladins can spawn. And I'm not using a battle potion, fair enough. But to be honest, I've used a battle potion in this place plenty of times. And I've literally only ever found about 10 paladins in this world. At the most. Most of the time I run away from them. <laughs> now, I used to run away from them when I was a... When I didn't have a lot of good things, basically. I used to, I used to run away from them. And you know how strong paladins can be. They can literally wreck you. If they if they get you with like three of their hammers, you're pretty much screwed. You're pretty much dead. You won't you won't survive it. Unless you've got good gear, of course, which a lot of people have nowadays, so they will survive it. And it shouldn't be a problem for them. How did that get up there? Really? A candy apple gets in like the crack of a randomest place ever? I guess that could have been my horseman's blade though. Does make sense. Come on. Is there a paladin? If there's a paladin, I'll kiss its forehead. No paladin here. There's a paladin. I don't think they'll spawn down there, to be honest. I think it's a bit too far to spawn down there. Surely it would be too far. I don't know. I'm just so happy I got the squashling. And you might say, what? You went through all that trouble and you're not using it? Well, I am using it. There you go. But... That's what you might be like in the comments, like, well, you best use it because you've been searching for it for so long. But the reason I'm searching for all pets is not because I just want to get given all pets or not because, you know, I just, I don't know. I just want them all because they're just a cool thing to have. You can swap between pets at any time. Literally, you can swap between them. You can, I, Right now, I could go back to my house and swap them. And I really want to get the achievement as well. That, that's another reason I'm getting them and a... I'm going to collect all items as well, so I can make an all-item map. Not for people to go on, though. Well, maybe. Maybe. I, I might have hosting sessions, because I said that in the previous. I might have hosting sessions. But, you know, giving out all items, it sort of ruins the game. It ruins the fun for everyone. People play it for a short amount of time. Then they just won't play it again. 
And it's sort of sad to hear that. I mean, the sales won't change. People will still buy the game. It's just they won't have as much of a good time on it as what they would if they did everything legit. Or themselves, or got things. And a couple of people on my channel are realising that. That I do my Xbox One Let's Play legit. That I don't just use modded items all the time. Because the modded items on the Xbox 360 I give out. Which I really shouldn't. And they're not really modded. They're more glitched. Because you could actually get those stacks before. So let's try to go to my pumpkin farm now. And we'll see what it is like. We can always turn this into something else as well. Now we want the fully grown ones. That looks like a fully grown one. Alright, nothing there. Uh, that looks like a fully grown one. Nothing there. That definitely is a fully grown one. Nothing there. Um, this one? Nope. Nothing. And nothing. I guess uh, we don't really need to replant them because it's not really going to be a big issue, to be honest. I say we uh, head over to the dungeon in the... Ooh, what's it called? Jungle. The jungle temple. Sorry, not the dungeon. We should over head over to the temple. Oh, before I do that, I named some people wrong. I might need to change these names. Can't remember where they are. Gabriel Gaming. I thought it was Gabriel Gaming. Hmm. I don't know. Sorry about the, uh... Sorry if I've spiked your name wrong, though, but... You know who you are. Uh, you're very active followers. I appreciate everything. And if you do want to get on that wall, all you have to do is stay active. And the way I know you're staying active is because... If you go into my channel, my videos, then go on community, there's a place called Fans. And you can do it by engagement. Now, engagement, I assume, is watch time. So, how much you watch the videos. And then, it counts, I think it counts likes and stuff like that. And comments. Obviously, those spam comments, if you just leave a comment, then it still counts. I'm pretty sure that's how it's ranked. So, if you do appear there... Then you'll most definitely appear on the wall. Sometimes people don't appear there. And I add them because they are very active on my channel. Compared to other people. You know what? Let's fight a Plantera. Fight your Plantera. Come at me. I wonder if they'll burn. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm saying, they stay active. And, oh wow, a Beezor. Wow, really? <laughs> but yeah, they stay active. And there's a life fruit as well. And then they get on added on. But if I, like I say, if I do see someone who is really active and they're not appearing there, then I do just add them because I know some of the people that are really active. Come on, Plantera. Come on, bro. Should we kill him with a Horseman's Blade? Let's try. Horseman's Blade is a very strong thing to use against it, so should be okay. It's just when it gets enraged is where you've got to be really careful because it can take some real damage off you. But, I mean, you got the vampire knives. You're pretty much invincible to it. Anybody, that is. That's not just me. Not being big-headed or anything. But, if you've got vampire knives, and you've got good armor, and end-game stuff, you're basically... This guy, you're immune to it. Like, seriously. I never got the axe, did I? Never did get the axe, or did I? No, I never, never did get the axe. So, it'd be awesome to get that today. Uh, oh, I got the Dalf Pout. Really? I got the ceiling and the Tower of Pow. Chances of that, guys? I don't know. But people were saying that I was getting really lucky to get the ceiling before, so... I appreciate that. Like, I, I am stoked to get that as well. Even though I've already got two ceilings, because for some reason they're a really good drop for me. Maybe today's looking up, guys. The today seems very good. Seems to be looking up for me, definitely. Getting a bunch of life fruit that I don't need. You know, all good. Arapaima. Arapaima? Arapaima. Is that how you say it? I want to learn these names. Arapaima, 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 whatever it is. You know? I've always been bad at pronouncing names. And I will always say I am. But there we go. Let's get this, uh, this plantera as well. Try and get the axe along the way. Because it was a long time when I tried to get the axe, you know. And I've still not got it. Arapakema. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, right? Well, we'll just say it is, just for the sake of it, you know? What if you can summon two Planteras in at once? Is there any more, any more bulbs around? It'd be awesome to summon two in at once. But I don't know, I don't know if you can. I'm not sure if they allow that. 
I mean, I can, can't see her in the game, but could you imagine two enraged Planteras against you? That'd be insane. You'd have to be, you'd literally have to be insane to do that. Some of these hits from the Horseman's Blade, they're doing 200 damage, some of them. 322 damage there. 340. Can anything top 340? I don't think it can, to be honest. Right, can we get, can we please get the axe? It'd be awesome to get the axe right now. Literally, I'd do anything for the axe right now. Not to get given it, though, but to actually get it as a drop. That'd be epic. And, I mean, that'd be awesome to get it as a drop. So, what did I get? Oh, the Plantera Trophy. Guess that's uh, another Dao of Pal. Wow. Wow, Dao of Pal. <laughs> I sound so ungrateful for getting a Dao of Pal. Should be more happy about it, because... It is a good thing. What is it? 60 something damage, is it? 75 damage. 80 damage. So, yeah, it's good damage. It's not all that bad. I don't, I don't know why I'm complaining about the Tower of Power. Because I never got it before, so I need it. I really don't know why I'm complaining about that. Right, so it is definitely this way. I, I still remember the route. Been on here so many times. Nature's Gift as well. I'm getting things today that I don't normally get as often. Like, I mean that. Why have I got a, a corruption jet on me? I, I guess that's from less steps. I've probably been carrying that around with me, haven't I? <laughs> Derp. I don't want to drop it, though. It's definitely a thing I want to keep. Now, we're down here. Oh, lack beetle. That means we can get a violet husk. Very nice. All this hard mode ores. Don't need it. So we're just going to go straight. Oh, another Plantera Bulb. Don't mind if I do. I wonder how good the godly Deathsicle is against it. Let's take a look. See, the Deathsicle don't seem to be that good against it, to be fair. I mean, hmm. The Horse's Blade does a much better job when you're just standing there. Like, 100%. It'd be awesome to maybe try it with a slime as well. I, I want to try that. Get a slime statue. Place it. Make it attack your loads, and then, uh, yeah. So that you the slime does damage over the Plantera, then see if it does a lot of damage when it is enraged, because obviously the slimes will take over the damage, but I don't know, the Plantera would probably just come in, wouldn't it? You could just make a massive, uh, a massive hole, and then sit in it, so the Plantera puts his arms out, and you can stand in one place. I've got the Leaf Blower. Alrighty then, that can go, that can go, and is that it? Is that all we got? Oh, we didn't, we didn't get a Plantera mask. Anything else, like, dropped down here? Silver coins. I think they was just off the enemy, to be fair. So the reason I'm coming to the Jungle Temple is, indeed, because the, uh, the, 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 there's a pet, there's a lizard pet. It's the lizard egg, I think. The lizard egg. And that door has never been opened, has it? Let's just open it now. Okay. So, my uh, my trap's still there. <laughs> wow. It's still working, still there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's ghosts in this place as well. There we go. Get rid of that door. I wonder if the ghosts can drop anything. I don't think they have anything to drop, but... I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, like I say, because they probably do drop something that I'm not aware of. I've got to look out for the Lizard Egg. I still remember the dungeon. Wow. It's been so long since I've been here, and it's just... <laughs> I still remember every single bit of this. That's the weird thing. Soul of Light, I don't really need at the minute. All right, let's go. No really torches either. I mean, since, since we got this, though, we could just mine through and get to the bottom. So I noticed a lot of them spawn at the bottom anyway. So that'll help us out. And some of these lizard bricks will uh, make a good house for us. Make it a bit more fancy, you know? Very good. It's an angry trap. Look at the flying snakes going crazy. They're going absolutely insane. They literally look like they're really mad. Mega bad. So take it down with the horseman's blade now. 
Uh, the eggs are really low drop as well. I don't know what the exact drop rate is. All I know is it's low. And you can get it as, off the lizards as a small drop. Don't know if you can get it in the chests. I guess that'd be easier to do. You could just keep loading up worlds. Mining through to the chests and then going back. But I believe it's only off the lizards. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go down here because I'm pretty sure they'll be spawning down here. Normally, they are. Well, there's a ghost. <laughs> What's that doing here? Can you get a ghost banner, I wonder? Oh, that's the thing I never got, did I? The raven banner. That's definitely a thing I want to get, a raven banner. Look at that. This was... I promise you guys, this was just mud. And it's now turned into a place to get mithril and stuff. It's literally grown on top of the mud. Which is actually pretty crazy. I actually find that really weird. I guess normal enemies are spawning in here due to the fact that I have put so much mud in here and it's made it into a normal biome as well. Well, that's not good. Because there's not a lot of lizards spawning in this world now. Well, that sort of sucks, but it's not all that bad. Because I still find lizards around. I'll just destroy some of these. See, they are spawning just in a weird way. And it seems to be more lizards that are spawning... I have flying snakes that are spawning than lizards. Like I said, I'm going gonna to take out, down all this dirt. Might look a bit messy now, but when I go out of the world, it'll all be gone. Because I think I've placed at least 100 blocks of dirt here. So that'll trigger a normal biome, obviously. I think it's 100 blocks you need, anyway. But that'll trigger a normal biome. And then, obviously, that's the reason why... Can we get lucky today and get our second pet? That would be extremely awesome if we can. Extremely awesome. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I would love to get the lizard pet. Because that would be another one off our list. Knocked out. And ready to go for the next ones. So just removing all the dirt. As per usual. Because the, the dirt is creating a normal biome. That's, that's what it is, I believe. There's so much those things growing on them as well. I wish I wouldn't have put this much dirt <laughs> there now. There's just so much of it. I don't know why I placed that much in the first place. I guess it was because we was in pre-hard mode gear. I actuated the things. And yeah. Right, there we go. I just got really concentrating there. But yeah, I actuated the door. And it come out. And that's how we got in here early. So hopefully we can see the egg when it drops, because sometimes they are hard to see. So I'm just hoping that I can see it pretty easily. If it does drop, that is. I'm not, I'm not saying it is going to drop, because it might not. Flying snakes really do suck, don't they? <laughs> this float up and down and then just die. Obviously, if you're in lower tier gear, though, they'd be pretty strong. They're pretty badass in lower gear. Pretty bad as. Oh, lizard. Come at me, lizards. Come at me. Fight me, lizards. I am a warrior, and I wish to fight you. I wish to come into battle with... Lizard power cell. Thought that was a pet then. I got excited for a second. She was on my face then. I was like, ooh. And I was like, oh. Okay then. So we'll put some water candles down. And that should increase the rate of spawn. And then, all we got to do is a little bit of luck. Hopefully kill a few. Hmm, goodie bag. We don't need it. Might sound a bit, uh, bit, bit greedy and all that, but I don't really need it. It's, it's not going to benefit me. Now nah, I'm going to take it. I don't know what to trash, though. What do I have to trash? Uh, great healing potions. We don't need those. We can get, get goodie bags while we're in here. So I'm going to need all your luck now, guys. And wish we could look for this. Really hoping to get the pet. I'm only going to kill a few. 
Right, so I'm going to kill a few, and then I'll be right back once I've done that. So see you soon, guys. So I said, no, 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 it was supposed to be my pentakill. Why did you die to me? I killed down no one to free for champions. I can't believe it's wrong. No, it was supposed to be my pentakill. Why did you die to me? I killed down no one to free for champions. I can't believe it's wrong. Wait a minute! So after that small farming trip, a solo eclipse is actually happening. So I've got between going for the solo eclipse or trying to get this pet. Now I do want to go and check out this solar eclipse. Hmm. It's one of those guys. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go for the solar eclipse now. It might not have been the best decision to. But personally, I want to go for the solar eclipse. So I'm going to go for it and just hope for the best, I guess. So, I'm going to farm this quickly, sit in my little trap, and I will see you soon, once again. So I said, no, 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 it was supposed to be my pentakill, why did you die to me? I killed down no one to free for champions, I can't believe you're falling. No, it was supposed to be my pentakill, why did you die to me? Wait a minute! guys so this has been really fun farming the solo eclipse but i do have to go now it is pretty late but today's been really successful i'm so glad i actually got the squashling pet we have got the flower of power now and maybe next time we can try kill more planteras i'm trying to i'll show you all the loot in the next episode i want to get off these but it doesn't look like so far i'm gonna get anything good Anyway, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're going to go back to the jungle temple next episode so we can try and get that lizard pet. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Comment below what you've enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.